It is written. Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a nail tutorial. This is the nail tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete today. It's kind of dramatic, but if you don't wear the fake nails, it will be less dramatic. The reason for the nail tutorial today is because I was looking at past pictures on my computer. I was just going through pictures, you know how we all do, thumbs up if you do that. And I came across this picture of me holding a plate of spring rolls, show here. I don't know what is wrong with my hair right there. It's like sticking out. Oh, it's my ear. My big alpha alpha ears. Anyways, um, the, my friend makes like the best spring rolls ever, so we were at like my friends get together in her backyard and I wanted a picture of the spring rolls so I held them and I could see my nails and I was like, oh my god, those are so cute. I wanna do those again. And yes, they're really, really, really easy to achieve and if you're messy like me, the messier the better and you can definitely do this if you're messy and I love them. You can use the fake nails or no fake nails. You can use your actual nails. When I was holding the plate of spring roll, those are my real nails. So you can do them either or. All the colors will be listed in the description box down below as always. And here we go! I'm going to start off by using some fake nails. You can definitely use your real nails or fake nails. This is totally up to you. These are just glue-on ones from Dollarama. There were $1 for a huge pack of them, so just do it how you want. I'm going to paint my nails in thirds. I'm going to start out with the bottom third of my nail, and I'm just going to dot it with some white polish. This is really easy. I'm just putting it on really, really messily and just throwing it on. And I'm just going to continue to do this on all the bottoms of my nails. Next I'm going to do the middle of my nail of any color of your choice and I'm going to choose pink. I'm going to do a few coats of this nail polish. And I'm doing this the exact same way as I did with the white, this time in pink and this time in the middle. And to give it a cute little dimension, this is definitely, definitely optional, but I'm going to do a different color on my ring finger. My ring finger is usually my fun finger is what I call it, so I like to do something a little bit different on my ring finger, but it's completely optional. The tips of these fake nails that I'm wearing are already white, but I'm just going to paint them white anyways just to give them an extra pop and just to make it mesh all the way together. Now it is time for the zebra stripes. What I'm going to do with the zebra stripes is I'm going to use a thin stripe nail brush and I'm just going to sort of make swirly zigzag motions on both the right and the left side of the nail. It's really easy. You can be as messy as you want. Just different colored lines. Use your thickness, thinness, and shapes however you like and just have fun with it and this will pull the whole look all together. This is a very easy technique to achieve, even if you are messy. And when you get to the sections where the pink and white meet, make sure to focus your zebra stripes there, just to blend the pink and white background together evenly. This is a very, very easy nail tutorial to complete. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the finished look. Um, make it your own. Use any colors you want and just have fun. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys!